Hey everyone, I'm Stana and I'm in Kuala Lumpur. I live in a beautiful building downtown, so I believe it will be a crime not to show you my house. As always, at the end of this video, I will tell you how much I paid for this apartment. And of course, the name of the building. Let's do it. So let's start with the entrance to the building and here is a very spacious and city entrance area. There are two buildings and four entrances with elevators. There are four apartments on each floor, which means there is no need to crowd people on each floor or waiting long for an elevator. There is a reception where a delivery curious usually leave food orders. Then we open the door with a key card and enter the lobby. The lobby has air conditioning and is a very beautiful and large space with a couch, armchairs, tables and nice decorations. It's a place where you can relax or wait for someone at any time. After that we call the elevator and head to the public area. All the elevators work with key card, which is very convenient and safe. In Malaysia the number 4 is considered unlucky. The floor's numbers have been changed to 3rd A, 13th A, 430th A and the 7th floor we have have a gym, barbecue area, pool, jacuzzi and a pool with exercise equipment, a hydro gym. So the first thing I want to show you is the gym. You can also enter it only with a key card. The gym is very large and spacious. You can do yoga, dance and use all the exercise equipment here. The gym has huge windows with views of the entire city and mountains in the distance. There is a lot of open space and and a wide selection of sport equipment. After we leave the gym, we enter the pool area with exercise equipment. There are not many of them, but there is still a choice and during working hours you can try exercise in the water. I tried it. Honestly, it's not very convenient. Next to the hydro gym, there is a space with a jacuzzi. There is plenty of space and you can turn on the jacuzzi at any time by simply pressing a button and relaxing. There is a lot of greenery and plants around. Also next to the jacuzzi, there is a small playground. It's not operational at the moment, but usually there are many kids and the playground looks funny. On the floor, there is a lot of greenery, a small garden with with plants where it's pleasant to be. There is a children's pool. It's not deep, so it's suitable for very young kids. Also, at the reception you can arrange or sign up for training sessions with a coach. Many children learn to swim here with a coach. The entrance to the pool is very spacious. There is plenty of sitting. Wow, this couple is having a date with wine. Here you can just relax, eat and swim. The pool is divided into the parts. The shallow area under the roof with launders under the water and the space with grass and benches where you can also hang out. All the loungers are adjustable. You can move them forward or turn them. And the second area is the actual pool where you can swim. The pool is very large and spacious. Trees are planted around and everything looks very neat and beautiful. There is also a large couch on the floor. Additionally, on the floor there is a barbecue area. There is a grill, a sink, and everything you need to cook in and you can also stay here and eat at the table. Around the corner there are the same high buildings and everything looks amazing. There are saunas on this floor as well. They are separate for men and women. As soon as you enter the restroom there is a small garden and a sauna where you can sit at any time. And now we are heading to see my apartment. My apartment is on the 13th floor. As soon as as you excite the elevator, you enter a large space. As I mentioned before, on each floor there are only two apartments served by two elevators. Ahead is another part where two apartments and served by another two elevators. Let's check out what's in my apartment. As soon as we enter, we step into a large and spacious apartment. My apartment has a very large kitchen with everything needed to cook in. There is even an oven, which is quite and 
treat in Asia. There is a separate room where the washing machine, dryer and various cleaning supplies are located. The living room is very big and spacious. There is a large dining table, a big smart TV, a couch and a huge panoramic window with a view of the neighboring building. The apartment is very cozy and now of course I want to show you the bedroom. The bedroom isn't large but there is still plenty of space. There is a king bed, a similar large window, a sitting area by the window and a desk. The desk used to be in the living room but I moved it to the bedroom to make it convenient for work. Additionally the room has a very large wardrobe area and lots of storage space. Right in the bedroom there is a bathroom as well. It's always not very big but it has everything you need. A shower, a toilet, a sink with a large mirror. The apartment is very cozy. Now let's see what entertainment options are available in the building. So we are heading to the 43rd A floor. On this floor there is a large and beautiful library. The entrance just like in other areas requires a key card. The library is cool and quiet making it a great place to work, read or simply relax with a view of the city. There is a big bookshelf and all the books are available for for reading. You can also read magazines, relax in the armchairs, work at a small coffee table or just look at the city. If you find the view splendid, go ahead and like this video. The next room is conference room, but unfortunately I can't access it right now. You need to book the room in advance at the reception and only then you can enter. So I won't be able to show it to you at this moment. There is also a small open space on this floor where you can sit and enjoy the view of the city and mountains. I've now crossed the bridge from my building to the second building to show you the second part of the common recreational areas. The first place in this building is the cinema. It's currently closed because you also need to reserve your visit in advance at the reception. They will assign a time slot and you can choose a movie and come to the cinema. There are very comfortable and wide couches. And the second room on this floor is a game room. The room has a small coffee table with chairs, a football table and a billiard table and you can play with all of them. But now let's go to the most beautiful place in the building and the place that makes renting an apartment in this building. Now we've arrived at the 45th floor which is the top floor on the building. Entire rooftop is a huge garden with a view of the entire city. There is a large reaction area where people often bring food and wine to enjoy dinner with the city view. Next to this area there is small garden where you can see one part of the city and do activities like yoga for example. After passing through the relaxation area we can immediately see this main view of downtown and the iconic twin towers. You can look down at the cars if you're not afraid of heights and just take in every building. After that we walk through the plants and relaxation spots and the entire view of the city opens up before us. Honestly, when I first came to this rooftop, my jaw dropped. Even in the evenings, it's incredibly beautiful here. Looking at the city lights and having dinner sounds like a best idea. I absolutely adore this view and I spend every evening on the rooftop. On the other side, you can see another part of the city and look toward the mountains. The best thing about this garden is that it offers first views from all sides of the city. I want to show you a bit more of the garden. It's very large and span the entire rooftop. You can see it anywhere in any part of the rooftop garden among the, the plants with the views of the city. Everything is very clean and neat. On the other side of the garden you get a fourth view of the city and the mountain. All the common space are open until 10 p.m. but the garden is open 24 slash 7 so so you can come here at any time. There is also a new conference room on the rooftop. Unfortunately
unfortunately, it's not finished yet and it's currently closed. But from what I see, there is even a bar there. There is a small space for practicing yoga with a view of downtown right here. It takes about 10 minutes to walk from my building to the Twin Towers. There are several shopping centers nearby, a very large park, grocery store, and plenty of restaurants and cafes. And now, as promised, I'll tell you how much I paid for this apartment per month. The name of this condo will be in the video description, as always. I found this apartment on Airbnb and I paid $700 per month for this apartment, considering that the apartment is right in the city center, very spacious, and the condo is premium class. I believe this is a reasonable price. However, I know you can rent that apartment much cheaper in Kuala Lumpur downtown as well. I hope you enjoyed this condo tour. Let me know in the comments if you would like to live here. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.